Hey everybody, this is Natalie. I wanted to film a video discussing all my purchases from South Korea. I was there um, mid-September for a wedding. The best makeup and skincare products out there. So I'm gonna discuss a few that I purchased. So yeah, let's get started. The thing I'm gonna talk about is skincare because that's super important over there. Um, I never really saw anyone over there with tons of makeup on or even this kind of look color over there, surprisingly. Like very, very natural approach to makeup, which I found very, very refreshing while I was over there. And um, one of the amazing skin tricks I picked up was from her family. Her mom looks like she's, she must be in her 50s or even early 60s, but her skin looks like a teenager. Her skin is amazing. It's like way better than my skin will ever look. And um, one of the products that her mom used every single morning and night before bed, and all her cousins also, which worked really well for them, was um, by Sulusu, and I'm definitely butchering the name, and this is kind of what it looks like. And it's an essential balancing emulsion. And um, not even sure what that means. Basically, it's kind of like, um, a day cream or a night cream. So what they would do is kind of just open it up and it's like this and you kind of just pour it out that way. And um, once the product is all over your hands, um, what they would do is just kind of like tap it in. So they would do this kind of motion every single morning or every night um, before bed. And I just can't rave enough about this. And Solusa is like a very popular Korean brand. Um, they have a lot of other products as far as like night creams and masks, but this is the only thing I picked up from over there because it was really, really, really pricey. Um, but it was so worth it. My go-to primer, I've dropped the Professional and I picked this one up because it has no sebum. Sebum is a type of oil that clogs your pores. And, and I just really enjoy this primer. It sinks right into my skin. It um, kind of helps minimize pores a little bit and it makes the application of makeup last all day. And I just really enjoy that it has no oil in it. And I just really like the fact that it is sebum free and it comes from South Korea, which has a more holistic approach to makeup in general. So it has to be good for you, right? Can someone translate? I would really appreciate it. This is by Skin Food and it's a very popular brand over there as well. And this is the Black Sugar Mask. Looks so gross, but this is the inside of what it looks like. It smells so good. It smells like brown sugar and honey. It is amazing. But these kind of masks, you can definitely do it yourself at home. I just really, really like this one a lot. And what it says, it contains mineral and rich Brazilian black sugar and promotes smooth glowing skin. So basically after you cleanse your skin, you kind of just massage it until the sugar dissolves into your skin and it leaves you with a very nice, soft, glowy face loading up on the eyeliners. And I have four to show you. I'm going to start with the pencil. And even though it's pencil, it's a gel liner. So this is the Innisfree gel liner. Innisfree was, a, was where I got my little primer as well and I got this. And um, this is a green color and I immediately fell in love with it. That's what it looks like and it is a beautiful color. I would wear this in the summer, I could wear it in the fall, winter for holiday parties and stuff like that. It is such a great color and I have worn it before. It's really long lasting. Um, this one's Make Me A Star and it's a waterproof gel eyeliner and that's just what it looks like there. And I'm going to swatch this right next to it. And what I like about this one also is um, it's black but it has sparkle in it. So this is just the black one and you can see it's like satiny right next to the green and it is a really, really pretty one. The next product I'm going to talk to you about which is a liquid liner and this is from Skin Food and this is Sweet Almond Eyeliner and I have been, I'm the kind of person that is really, really bad at liquid eyeliner. I've tried any of them, even the Maybelline like beginner's liquid pencil. I know you guys all know what I'm talking about. I just can't remember the name right now. And I don't know if I got a defective one, but it was really, really dry and really hard to work with, unfortunately. So I kind of gave up on liquid liner for myself until, uh, until I found this one. And this one is just so good. I'll go ahead and swatch it. I don't know what it is, but I can apply it so easily. And it's like so liquidy. That makes sense. Um, it's a really runny consistency, which I I see. I really seem to need that. <laughs> it's a really runny kind of consistency, but I enjoy it. Um, and this is it right there, swatched on the end. And it looks like a liquid liner. It's not matte. I mean, it does dry matte. My all-time favorite liquid liner. No lie, it's so good. All right, and then the next product, the last gel eyeliner I got, comes in a little pot. And this is from Skin Food as well. And it's called, I can't believe this name is so, so random. I'll let you see for yourself. The chocolate makes you more sweet and deep. 
Alright, so that's what this one's called, and I think I might have gotten a, yeah, this is black. So this is just what it looks like, kind of like your basic gel eyeliner. I'm going to swatch this as well, just because I swatched all the other ones. But it's just a regular gel liner. It's this one right here in the middle, right between the sparkly black and then the liquid one. And I actually don't like this too much because um, I wore it for an eight hour work day and by the end of it I look like I got punched in the eye. It's just the kind that's very, like it easily transfers all over your eye and um, doesn't stay put like I'd like it to. I have a brush to talk about and this is from Skin Food, shocker. <laughs> the big fluffy stippling brush as you can see and what I like to use this for is kind of just to blend in and make sure I don't have any harsh lines after I've applied my bronzer, my contour, and my blush. It's super, super soft, and I totally love this brush. It's such a great purchase. I'm so happy I got it. Um, it did shed a little bit when I washed it, but it's holding up pretty well, so I do recommend this brush if you're ever in South Korea. I see a lot of BB and CC creams, but they would come in a compact, not in like a tube or like foundation, and um, what a lot of women would do is just kind of take out a sponge and just dab it and dab that all over their face. And that's kind of their foundation routine. They would just use a CC cream instead. Um, they would also use a lot of powder. And I had to purchase one just because I said, hey, why not? Um, the one that I got was from Skin Food again. Skin Food was like my favorite brand out there. Um, and it's the Gold Caviar Moist Fitting Cake. SP25. That sounds so yummy. Cake. Um, and this is just it. It has a really pretty golden bronze um, design. When you open it, this is what it looks like. It comes with a little sponge. This is what it looks like. It comes with a little sponge. And this product smells phenomenal. It is the only product that has a fragrance that does not break my skin out. And I just kind of take this and dab it underneath my eyes just to set my concealer. And it is my favorite. Um, I obviously have to use it for underneath my eyes because they don't really carry my color. I tried looking for a CC cream that was medium deep, but their definition of medium and mine isn't necessarily the same. So unfortunately, I just had to use this for underneath my eyes, and it is my favorite product. I also have a few products from Etude House, um, and this is one of them. It's really cute. Etude House is really cute and girly. I actually got a little box, a little farewell box from the family I was staying with, which is super, super sweet. Thank you so much for it. I love it. Um, and I'm just going to show you a few products of what I got, what I use. Um, and this is just a blush kind of a highlight mix. And this is what it looks like. Oop, I dropped one. They're little hearts. They're so cute. So you see deep rose, a lighter one, and then like a beigey color in the middle. Um, and this is so beautiful. It's comparable to NARS Orgasm or Luminoso by Milani. It kind of gives you that pinky, peachy sparkly highlight color without any actual pieces of glitter. It's just very, very, very pretty on your cheeks. I also got this from Etude House, and it's called Sweet Recipe All Over Color in Peach Sugar Cookie, and it's super cute. The packaging is adorable, and this is just what it looks like. It's an all over color for face, lips, and eyes. I haven't really used it, honestly, just because I feel like it'll look too cutesy. kind of looks fake on me because it's really, really peach. But this is just what the color looks like on the end. Maybe I can rock it. I don't know. We'll give it a try. Those were all the products I purchased in South Korea. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I will be posting up a documentary of my time spent in South Korea. So stay tuned for that. Bye. Take care.